Anthony Rota, first of all, good to see you. Thanks for coming to Thank speak Thank you. With it's me. a pleasure to be here. The, uh, you were assistant uh, deputy speaker in the last parliament to Jeff Regan, another liberal MP. Um, let me ask you, why do you believe you're the best candidate? I've been asking this of all the candidates. Why do you think you're the, the best one to, to assume the job of speaker now in this new parliament? Well, it's interesting because uh, when you look at it, we have some great choices. We've got four great people and one newcomer uh, who have a lot of experience and who we're all very talented. We're all doing very well. Uh, what it comes down to is just different ways of dealing with things. Uh, some are a little bit harsher. Some are a little bit more diplomatic. And I'd like to think that uh, I'm more on the diplomatic side uh, and able to work with people. Uh, uh, it's something that I've always uh, done, and uh, I've chaired a number of, uh, of boards and uh, committees over the years. Uh, National Caucus Chair, Ontario Caucus Chair for the Liberal Party. And uh, it's hard to describe what it is you have different, and it's just something that people tell you, well, you know, you were, you were firm, uh, but you were respectful. But more than, more than anything else, you were fair. Mm. And I think that's some of the stuff that keeps coming up when I have Everybody talks about the fairness yeah. the, the fairness issue, and clearly you need that, and, and maybe you need it even more so in a minority parliament where everybody's going to be watching for, for fairness, and uh, it's always a challenge. But you talk about the difference between diplomacy and, and, and maybe firm-handedness and, and so on. Uh, I've seen a lot of speakers try the diplomacy thing over the years, and you still have a raucous, uh, often disrespectful House of Commons. So. Uh, does diplomacy work? Well, it depends on how you implement it. I mean, you've got that iron fist, but you've got to have a silk glove around it. And it's got a, it's, it, it depends on how you say stuff sometimes and, and just uh, how it gets uh, conveyed to the individual. That's one of the key things. Uh, one of the strengths uh, is uh, maybe using a little bit of humor with it uh, at first and uh, not being afraid to escalate it. And uh, those are all things that you have to use uh, with judgment as you progress, I know when I was in the in the chair, uh, we had a few incidences where uh, it got raucous, mm -hmm. and uh, you just calm it right down and you move on from there. Uh, my wife uh, is a teacher, so I learned a lot from her on what to do with children and keep them in line. I'm not saying that uh, MPs are children, but sometimes the emotions take over and they get uh, get somewhat raucous, mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, time to calm them down. My wife's a teacher too, so, so you know. Both, yes. both of us have had a lot, a <laughs> you lot hear of a lot collateral of the learning. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the, but but again, it, it comes down. So I mean, you you've watched four years of Jeff Regan. Uh, you've watched the way the House is. So would you largely be the same kind of speaker? Or would, would you be, sounds like you're saying, you, I mean, he's he's taken some steps. He's named writings and, and pulled questions away from members and chastised them uh, in the House of Commons. Uh, is that the kind of thing you would do? And, or, and those are all tools that are available to you. Do you think he's, and he's you, used them unnecessarily at any point? Or? Uh, you know what? Jeff's done a great job. I'm not going to criticize Jeff. I mean, he's, uh, he's been super. Uh, so why vote for you? Uh, well, because I'm different. <laughs> and the, the way I'm different is the way I deliver. And, and again, a lot of it has to do with um, how you would implement something like that, like, you know, how you escalate. Uh, you don't escalate too soon. Mm -hmm. And again, a lot of it has to do with your style and your judgment. And when you put the two together, that's where it comes in at a, at a, at a better rate. To pinpoint and start saying, well, you're better than that person or I'm better than this person, I, I, you know, that's not the role of the speaker and I don't want to get into that. But uh, I think what it comes down to is a lot of the members that I've spoken to, uh, they've experienced what my style in there, or the way I handle things in the chair. And it's more of a feeling than anything else. I mean, I can come out here and tell you, okay, this is the instructions on how we do it differently. But unless you actually experience what that person is capable of, it's hard to say, okay, that's what it is. So yeah. it's more of a, a feeling in the house that makes a difference. Some of the stuff that I'd like to see come back that we used to do quite a bit under Peter Milliken is have regular dinners or gatherings where you would bring a group of uh, MPs together and they would get to know each other, whether it was for a meal or just a small gathering. I'd like to do that on a weekly basis. And, you know, if two people are having a rough time uh, relating to each other in the house, nothing better than breaking bread and sitting next to each yeah, other. Yeah, is there something about... Is there something about um you know, I mean, we really only see decorum issues, right? Um, exactly. In, in question period. That's re really, the, it's become a, a different kind of theater than the rest of the operations. And, and I mean, is, is, I, I, how do you deal with that? I mean, because we don't, MPs don't treat each other that way in oh, the no. other parts of their daily job at committees or they're, they're not heckling, they're not, and 
if people could see them behind the scenes, they're generally far more collegial and, and than they are. The, this has become uh, a, a bit of a, a moment in the in the day of, of, of the House of Commons to uh, try and put the other guys on on the defensive and so on by heckling and. Uh, I mean, how do you deal with that? Is that by bringing them together? What ended up what ends up happening is all of a sudden that person across that you're at war with, basically in question period, has a name and it's a human being that you're dealing with, and you know the person, and it just tones things down in the house. And I think it carries through throughout. Uh, you mentioned the committees. You see that often uh, where the committee functions very well until it gets a little high profile, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden the cameras come on, yeah. and suddenly. Uh, you're no longer trying to make the point for your writing or for the good of the uh, the committee or for the good of Canada. Right, it's you're, almost you're on you're, the attack. You're, no, you're trying to win an Oscar yeah. almost. It's it's almost like a, an act that comes on, and it, and it's sad because you see that often, and that's something that I'd like to see people maybe put aside a little bit more. Okay, so. Um What's 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 the the, the, the fifteen second pitch from from Anthony Rota that you, uh, you've, you're probably already making to different members of Parliament, or will be making over the next forty eight hours? Well, the, the, one of my strengths has always been cooperation and open door. And uh, when talking to members, the first thing I did was, okay, is there anything you'd like to see? in the House and some of the things that came up, some of the suggestions were actually quite good. One of them uh, from one member uh, out west said, I'd like to see a suggestion box. I think that's a great idea. That's probably one of the first things I'll do when I get in there. Make sure that people can put something down and they can put it anonymously or as, uh, as uh, and put their name. Right. And if there's enough people saying the same thing, maybe we can have a whole new working group, multi-party, uh, hopefully as neutral as possible, who can come up with something uh, new that will work for uh, the House. And again, cooperation uh, as much as possible. One of the things uh, you mentioned, I've been here since 2004. Uh, out of those, I've only had one majority government that I've served under. They've all been minorities. Right. So I have a good idea of what's coming up, and it certainly will be interesting. It will be interesting. Uh, Anthony Rota, candidate for Speaker. Uh, good luck. Thank you very much.